artists, this is Mrs. RT, and today we are going to go on an adventure under the sea. So I want you to think about what sea creatures live under the sea, maybe what plants you might see under the sea. And we are going to start with the book Swimmy. And then we will draw our under the sea picture together. So this is Swimmy. A happy school of little fish lived in the corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one was black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. So you can see little Swimmy right here with his family of red tiny fish. One bad day, a big tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. He swam away in the deep wet world. Swimmy was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a medusa made of a rainbow jellyfish. Swimmy saw a lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. And strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. Swimmy saw a forest of seaweed growing from sugar candy rocks. and an eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. So you can see how long this eel is and how tiny little Swimmy is. And sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, Swimmy said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lay there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. So you can see all these little tiny red fish hiding just like his family at the beginning. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I'll have it. We are going to swim all together like one big fish in the sea. Swimmy taught them how to swim close together, each in his own place. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. So all those tiny little red fish are working together to make one giant fish. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. And that was our story of Swimmy. So I want you to start thinking of three sea creatures that you might want to draw. You can see on this example, I have a crab, a seahorse, and a jellyfish with some seaweed and they're all in the sand. And I used all different kinds of blue, light blue, dark blue, blue green to make the ocean and the color of the ocean. So I'm gonna show you a few examples of different sea creatures on the board here. But remember, you can come up with your own. You wanna think of three or more sea creatures that you could try and draw. So I'm gonna show you a few different ones on the board. If you wanted to make a crab like this, you can start with a big oval or rectangle, two eyes, and then these big claws on the front are important to make it look like a crab. So I made two small rectangles coming off for the arms. And then for those claws, I made a U shape and then the letter V to make it look like a claw.
And then for the legs, I came over and down, back up and in. So you can make legs on both sides. Right, for that seahorse, I made a curved line that looped around for the tail. Came around for the head and out. And for the body, we come out and around for the belly and then you can loop it back in for the tail. With a small fin to help it swim. An eye and some spikes. This wavy line going all the way down to the tail. If you want to make a jellyfish, I started with curved line, wavy line on the bottom, and wavy lines here. And remember, in the story, and if you've ever thought about other sea creatures, there are so many different types of fish, so many different types of sea creatures. They're all different colors like we saw in the story. Show you how to make a sea turtle. So we have the circle for the head, this big half circle shape for the body that I usually fill in with just different shapes to make it look like the turtle shell. Then some fins so it could swim. We can make an octopus. with eight tentacles. And I'll do one more, I'll do a fish in the middle. So we can start with an oval. It's like a triangle for the tail. We can add some detail or stripes on the fish. And then we want those fins so they could swim. So you could have a fin that looks like a triangle or even you can just have one that comes out like a wavy line. So there are still so many other sea creatures you could choose a lobster like we saw in the story, or an eel, a shark, or a dolphin. And you can take some time to color it. You can see all these different colors of fish that you could make, or any of the other creatures that we saw in the book as well. We have the rainbow jellyfish. So take some time, draw your sea creatures. You can add more than three, but you should have at least three on there. And then think about where they live. Do you need sand on the bottom, seaweed, or any other sea plants? And then fill all that space in with different shades of blue. You can even add some blue-green or green into it. And if it's really deep in the ocean, you might see some purple. So I hope you had fun on our Under the Sea art adventure. And we will see you next time.